Chapter 11 introduces corporations and the transactions associated with forming a corporation and paying out dividends. We'll learn how to journalize these types of transactions. It should be noted that not all corporations are the GEs and the P&Gs of the world. Many small businesses are incorporated. Characteristics of a corporation uh, include the fact that it is considered a legal entity and a shareholder within a corporation has what's referred to as limited liability. Namely, their liability is limited to the extent of their investment. This is an important point in forming a corporation. However, it should be noted, even if you form a corporation, you have limited liability to some extent. However, however if you were to go borrow money, uh, you will probably have to sign personally, which will now make you personally liable as well. A corporation can issue several classes of stock, common stock, preferred stock. The major difference between the two would be common stock shareholders have a right to vote. Preferred stockholders do not and preferred stockholders have a preference as to dividends. In other words, they'll receive dividends first if, they're, if a dividend is declared before the common shareholders. A cash dividend is nothing more than a payout to the shareholders based on the number of shares that a person holds. This is kind of a reward for owning the share, kind of a return on investment type of a transaction so that the investor will be interested in the stock and possibly buy more stock. If a company is a growing company and may not have sufficient cash or they want to maintain their cash for growth purposes, sometimes they will all offer a stock dividend. And these are dividends declared for the common shareholders. And instead of giving a dividend in the form of cash, they give them actual shares of stock. A company can also buy back shares of stock that they've already issued. This is called treasury stock. And we'll deal with the journal entries associated with buying this stock back. Finally, stock information is reported on the stockholders' equity section of the balance sheet. Each class of stock is reported, common versus preferred. And then there will also be additional paid in capital, potentially. And if there are dividends, these dividends would come out of retained earnings as would the treasury stock.